Our next speaker needs no introduction. Um, I'm proud to say she's my elected official. Um, uh, and I'll tell a slight story. When uh, Mrs. Tauscher came to the lab uh, before she was elected and to learn about the lab and what we were all about, uh, I went home that night and I told my wife, I think I found somebody you can vote for. So uh, she has been a tireless supporter of this laboratory, um, a, a true patriot uh, in terms of taking on very, very tough national issues in the national interest. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Congresswoman Ellen Tauscher. Thank you so much, George. This is a wonderful homecoming uh, and an opportunity to talk to you, the people that I've worked for for the last 12 and a half years, and to say, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the honor to have served you in Congress. I want to acknowledge many of the people here today that you've heard their names, but we can't say their names too often because what we are doing here today is not only the end of one part of a journey, but the beginning of such an exciting time for science in this country, for the prestige of, of California, for the opportunity to once again lead in a new economy that is so exciting. George and Ed, you have been just absolutely amazing. And the entire staff of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, my hat is off to you for delivering what many people believed was unachievable. I'd also like to pay tribute to the leadership of the University of California and the Linz Board, Mark and, and Norm and uh, Dick Blum, the leadership of the University of California for the public service that they've had for the 60 years is second to none and has brought to this country the crown jewels of science in the national lab that they've managed so competently for the last 60 years. I want to also acknowledge my partners in the executive branch. I think we should clap for the University of California. I want to thank my partners in the executive branch Tom D'Agostino and, and Steve Coonan, and uh, the Secretary of Energy, Steve Chu, who of course is a Californian, which we're very happy to have him in Washington. Thank you, Governor Schwarzenegger, for your leadership. My colleagues in the Congress, it's wonderful to have a neighbor like Jerry McNerney, who has such a pedigree in science and in math and in wind engineering, and I'm so proud to serve with him. Zoe, you have been a friend of mine for so many years. Your leadership in the California delegation is exemplary. And Senator Feinstein, you have always been there for us. Uh, your position as an appropriator has always made it possible when we were just a little short uh, to make sure that we could go and get you to help us, and we've always been able to keep the funding for the NIF going because of your leadership. Being a member of Congress that represents the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Cindy, California, is an exemplary opportunity. When I'm in Washington, I tell my people that, my colleagues, that uh, the reason I'm asking for X, Y, or Z is because I represent the smartest people in the world. Perhaps it's no small co coincidence that you've elected me seven times, but. <laughs> but I want to thank um, my constituents, Mike Anastasio, Tom Hunter, and George Miller, who run those labs with the most unbelievable energy and credibility, which makes it very easy for somebody like me to make my arguments when I'm in Washington. <laughs> the nuclear complex has faced some big challenges over the last few years. At one point, this project almost didn't happen. But we adapted and adjusted to deliver a one-of-a-kind scientific breakthrough that came in on budget, and that is quite an accomplishment. We're here today because of the Lawrence Livermore Labs, talented and hardworking staff, and I want to commend everyone at Lawrence Livermore for your unwavering commitment to our nation's security. As I said, when I talk and gush about you back in Washington, I do say that I represent the smartest people in the world, and again today, you are proving that to the world. The National Ignition Facility is a tool unlike anything the world has ever seen. It is the crown jewel 
of scientific achievement that shows that the federal government can deliver when it has a clear mandate and consistent funding. The National Initial Facility will allow our government to maintain our nuclear deterrent and give our scientists unprecedented insight into nuclear weapons research without testing. It will improve our national security and help make the world a safer place. The NIF also plays a crucial role in the science-based stockpile stewardship program, which ensures the safety and the reliability of our nuclear deterrent, once again, without nuclear testing. Its potential to create clean energy is a healthy and positive byproduct of the billions we have spent to deliver this project. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity to have worked for you. And I want to thank you for your hard work and dedication. You have made this day possible. I am proud to have stood with you and for you.